What's going on, everyone? It is your boy Thriller here, and we are here for week number four, I'm pretty sure, of the PUDL. We are checking on Coach, and I'm going to butcher this name. Sheev Kebab? She Kebab? I'm going to butcher that name, and I apologize. But we're here. We are currently one and two after a very tough and devastating loss where we probably should have won that game. But it is the result of the matchup, and I cannot go and change anything about it. So we're going to move on to a battle of MVPs in this week. Um, their team, as you can see right next to us, is got the team of Annihilate or Saluna, Mandibuzz, Thunder, Adel, folks, <laughs> Thunder is there in Armor Rouge, Tentacruel, Deancey, Satitan, Doraladon, Wigglytuff, and Victory Bell, and Chimeco, with their Terra Captains being the Doraladon, which is the Dragon, Steel, or Ghost type, a Victory Bell, which can tear into a Grass, Fire, and Ground type, and a Wigglytuff that can tear into a Fairy, Steel, and Psychic type, and obviously we have our team, as it is, obviously, like I said, in the tr transactions that we talk about week three, we now have Clodzire. Now we have uh, Lantern, Josh Bun. No, no, Josh Bun was already here. Um, and it's soon Decidueye. I think it was actually only three we made. I think there was only three changes we made. So that is the team I am expecting the Annihilate. Actually, I can show you what I'm actually expecting real quick. Uh, I'm expecting Annihilate, Ursa Luna, the Terra, Victory Bell, Terra, Duraladon, the Tentacruel, and Thunderous. Duraladon, I don't think he's going to be his Terra Captain of choice this matchup, but if he does bring it, I think Steel just for all fits is really good. I think Steel or Dragon does really good. Ghost is a little niche. I think Ground Terra on the Victory Bell, and especially if he gets some way to set up Sun, is definitely going to be a very big problem for our team if we do not struggle around it. So that is what I'm expecting from our opponent this week. Here's what we're bringing. We're bringing kind of a very risky off offensive build with some defensive investment stuff. we got our boy It's a Rock here, the Iron Boulder with Adam and Nature. Speed stat wise, we outspeed the Thunderous Therian and uh, and below. Um, with this, we pretty much will just destroy everything with the Swords Dance up. We have Shookaberry to be able to potentially scout for the um, Victory Bell, trying to go for a Terra Blast or any type of ground coverage move it has when it goes for it. But also just having Sugarberry helps ensure the V of a hit from the Ursaluna, which could be choppled into this matchup. Up next, we have Azura, our choice specs Chi, which is designed to just punch people in the nose, man. Fire Blast, Dark Pulse, Psychic, and Heat Wave, 16 HP, max special attack, modest with 240 speed. I don't remember what this is about speeding. I think this is about speeds Victory Bell outside of Sun. But this is basically our design mod to just click a damn button with and just do a lot of work with. I next have Asuka here with enough speed again to outspeed the Thunderous. Swords Dance, Ivy Coach, Play Rope, and Power Whip. I decided to take a risk and not go Trailblaze this matchup. I didn't really need the speed, and this really just kind of covers a lot of bases. Again, it's going to force some 50-50s with the Terra on the... Actually, it doesn't force any 50-50 with the Terra. Never mind. JK. Uh, if it forces the Terra out, then I can actually kind of play around it. Up next, we have Ochi. Ochi. The Petra run here with Subtox and Recover Shadow Ball. I don't ever love running a scummy set like this, but into this team... Besides Victory Bell and besides Duraldon, if it's not Terra into a Steel Step, what is stopping Petron from just doing anything? With 20 speed investment, we do outspeed the majority of all the bulk that my opponent does have. We are max HP, 120 defense, 116 spin up with the Calm of Nature, designed to literally just take hits and just sub toxic everything. This actually beats Annihilate 1v1, which is really good. Um, but overall, this thing is just a big fat of nuisance to my opponent, and it's going to be really good for us in the end game here. I'm next to have Terra Fairy Cyclos are here with Terra Blast, which we are taking a big gamble with this week, as it is a Terra Captain Mono. I'm to double check here. Uh, actually, never mind, never mind, never mind. But we're taking a big gamble with this being our Terra Blast mod, because I do like the option of our second Terra, which we have. We have Max Attack Adamant, 216 speed, again, outspeeding the Thunders. With this, we will outspeed literally everything with this, both well, in and out of the Shift Gear Boost. We actually are rocking out with the Regenerator this week, because I don't really distinctly think I need. To be shed skin and less T spikes come, but I don't think it will when I have a patch on. Quick attack, Terra Blast, Outrage, and Dragon Claw with the choice ban. We are going to hit insanely hard this week. I'm actually going to have Archer here, our student, Sidewide, with Terra Fight if it is needed here. 
With the speed investment, we will outspeed the majority of the bulk that we were going for. Rest into at offense and then in defense. We are roost three roost bulk up two triple arrows and dual wimby. Realistically, my my stab of fighting really does well. If the tender cruel here, the dual wimby is there just to be able to take that on. But regardless, we are gonna hopefully be able to win this match. We really need to pick up a dub to bounce back this week. I'm feeling pretty decently confident about the team. Let's go ahead and get into the matchup now. Obviously, I did not check for my sounds to be uh, checked there. So, also don't mind me. I'm gonna probably munch on some ice cream while we're on the side here. For fun fact, for anyone that doesn't know, I actually live above an ice cream shop, and this is the first time I'm actually having their ice cream. Out of like the two or three years it's been down there, I'm finally having their ice cream. I know a lot of people are gonna say, "What the?" And I'm like, listen, okay. When you work a lot and you're busy all the time, you don't have much free time to really do a lot. So you just got to do what you got to do. I'm going to go ahead and pause and I will unpause when we are back for the video. All right, we're back for the video here and he brought a very much different team. So he actually went with, like, looks like a Trick Room route for his team for this game. So no Thundee, which is really nice. I'm actually kind of glad we are now very much offensive. So we see a DNC. See Annihilate. We see Ursaluna. We see the Victory Bell. We see no Duraludon. Uh, so we see a Mandibuzz, and we see a Armor Rouge. He gets freaking rocked by my boulder. So looking at the potential lead here, it looks like this battle will be... No sound, unfortunately. Okay, so my Petron looks insanely good this game. My Archer also looks very well into this matchup. Archer really is very much unresisted in this matchup, which is really good. I have to weaken down Deancey, though, but Archer does very well. My Jason, oh my god, Terra Fairy is going to go stupid good in this matchup, which is really awesome. Uh, Asuka also looks fantastic. I just need to bait the Terra on the Victory Bell here. But I think I always am going to lead off with my Chi Yu here. My Chi Yu always gets to pick off something here. As to, mm, that was the one thing I didn't want to see swapped it. That was the one thing I didn't see swapped it. That is unfortunate. Should have figured that a little bit more potentially. Alright. If this is Spadev Deancey, it takes... 35 to 42 percent. Diamond Sword picks me up, but I feel like you know this is an easy stealth rock here. I feel like you know this is easy stealth rock here. And I have no way to realistically remove hazards. So, what do I want to do here? I could try to go boulder, set up a D dance, and by D dance I meant swords dance. Uh, if I get a plus two off here, I'm doing so much damage. It's like this is insane. He could trick room here. Is that worst case scenario if he trick rooms here? No, it's not. I'm going to go to my Mochi. So he does Stealth Rock here. I'm just going to go for a free Toxic here. Worst case scenario is he does go into... Yeah, I'm going for the Toxic here. So 
we see Stealth Rocks. This is a pretty free Toxic here. Get the Poison Puppeteer. Uh oh. Oh no! I did not know this thing got Sunny Day. I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh, I actually legitimately did not know this is game's Sunny. Oh, uh, we see this definitely could be Heat Rock. Uh, we could just straight up lose. <laughs> I'm gonna be completely honest with you, people. I think we straight up lose here. All right. Um, for what's worth, I'm gonna I'm gonna toss up a Shadow Ball here. As he actually just decided to stay in here. But top it. Bro, come on. How do I not get lucky? Okay. Wow. All right, victory bell. This ought to be interesting. So, victory bell to my pet to run here. I do 32 to 40%. We have Terra Blast Ground, which you would have to be in this matchup. Right? You would have to be Terra Ground. You are doing 73 to 86 if you're Life Orb. If you're not, I take a hit here. <laughs> Shout out to Demarcus. Like the vid if you know something new. Okay, um... So the question is, he did burn one turn of confusion, though. And I don't know how many more turns you could get confused here. I feel like I risk my Petron. I think my Petron's the one I want to risk the most. I'm going to Shadow Ball here. He does tear ground. I do live this hit. He is Life Orb, so we get very valuable chip damage here. I'm going to go ahead and so Fusion does end, so we just sack off off here. Okay. So, I go into Cyclozar. Quick attack is 41 to 48. Okay, so. Okay, so let's think about this now. So he has Terra Blast. That's all he's shown. I'm pretty confident he outspeeds. This is going to reveal that I am... I'm thinking about it. I'm going to go into Jason here. Now, I do want to look at a calc here. Victory Bell, to me, doesn't Oko me with, with his life orb. Never mind. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, 85 to 101. So, with that, Slug Bomb does knock me out. Terra Blast, he needs Max will knock me out. I want a quick attack so bad. I want to. I feel like with this though, I scream that I'm scarfed though. I feel like I scream I'm scarfed with this. Do I risk it? Do I risk this? I risk it.
That's so annoying, dude. That's so annoying. That's so... <laughs> With the sun up. I do 53 to 63. Oh god, that's so annoying. I have to risk it. I have to full send. I have to hope he goes into DNC. He actually goes main buzz here. I'm gonna do Azure here. I either baiting a knockoff here or I'm baiting a potential foul play, so yes foul play here. So I can just fire flash in the sun. Alright, so get rid of you, get rid of you. So with the Yancey gone, in comes this thing here. I just fire blast. Goodbye. Ursulina gone. Now we can kind of play around this. In comes the Annihilate here. I'm just going to Fire Blast again, right? He's not Flash... He's not Flash Fire. He's not Flash... If this is Spadef, though, 73 to 86, but if this is just, like, max HP, it's dead. Ooh, okay, so he's Scar. Okay, so he is Scarf Drain Punch. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Because I am faster than this thing, I believe. If it's max speed, I'm not. But it shouldn't be any any speed. So it's got to be Scarfed. So with being scarved, that means you're max attack. And you're not bulky. Or being max attack. If I go into Ogre Pond here, I I get to a KO. If I go into my Decidueye, Decidueye is basically back sack fodder at this point. Um, if I go into my boulder here, Rain Punch is a roll to knock two AK over here. I think I have to go boulder here. 76%. So, he's gotta be jolly for the speed, I would imagine. Zen Headbutt does have a chance to knock him out here. I'm at 76. So this drain punch guaranteed two KOs me here. I feel like he I mean he saw me hard out, so I either I'm scarf or I'm banded. I have to get the 50-50 right. If I don't get this 50-50 right, I lose. If I don't get this 50-50 right, I lose. But I feel like he's not going to risk this when he has a free Mandibuzz on the Psychic move or an, or an Armor Rouge to get the weak Armor Boost. I'm going to risk it. Okay, he's not Star, so he was just max speed. Okay, so he was just max speed. That's fine. We can work with that. Okay. Okay, Boulder. Okay, whoo! So he wasn't scarfed. He was just pretty much speedy. Okay. Oh. Time to click a good old mighty cleave. Boulder, coming back in, baby! Oh my god!
Oh my god, thank god. Oh my god. Oh my god, I was so scared there. Oh, I was so scared there. I think I might have to give Chi Yu the thumbnail, man. Chi Yu came in the clutch. Special shouts, special shouts though for um Cyclozar. Uh Cycles are getting that clutch quick attack, man. That still frustrated me though that we didn't get the kill though. I made the right play and I didn't get rewarded for it, which is so annoying. RNG has just not gone my way this season, and I do not like it. But we picked up the win. That's all that matters. Thank goodness, man. Because oh my god, I could not suffer another loss in a week in a row here where we lose to RNG like that. I, I would hate that so much, but. GG's to Sheev. I'm just calling you Sheev. Uh, we now advance to 2-2. Two and two. Well, they advance to 2-2 two and two as well. And we pick up a much-needed confidence booster win. Boulder doing what Boulder does best, and that's just clicking buttons, baby. Um, I was really scared that was Scarf and Island, because if he actually went for the Drain Punch there and he was Scarf... Uh, actually, it was funny. If he actually just Scarfed himself into Earthquake, he would have won. That was crazy. And what's funny then is that I would have been in a position where I would have had to just make a 50-50 of a bit of SD and we're going for the Zen Headbutt. But based on the fact that he was going to probably try to risk this, I would have Zen Headbutt there, killed him. Then I would have went into my Archer and either try to sack that off at that point in time. And then at that point, Ogre Pawn plus my Boulder wins me the game. I either win this instead with a 1 or 2-0 victory. So very happy to walk away with a 3 0 victory. She, you did amazing, man. Chi Yu got two kills, which was awesome. Boulder got another three to stack on top of his already impressive resume. Boulder proves why you don't need booster energy all the time to win games, people. I'm the berry farmer. Let me have my berries. And also, Petron, for the love of God, man, get your act together. I need your help here. Amo, give me your vibes, man. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace!